so he's starting to play with her. But he's really like, he's acting a lot slower. He's acting a lot more depressed. He's sleeping a lot more. Pudge is right here, Mr. Floyd boy. This stuff is still oozing out of his eye. I'm gonna start looking and see if I can find free vet care. You know, I keep trying to wipe away. I keep trying to sort of see if I can get a look. But I don't know. Like he's squinting that eye a lot. Let's see, he's not. open. I don't know what to do for him. I don't know what to do for him. I don't have any money for a vet. <sighs> now I did, I did, um, when I needed to take him on, the, when I had the appointment to take him on the 16th, that, and I canceled it because Jorge told me I needed to cancel it because he, he had to, he was gonna, he was gonna go on the 16th instead of the 18th and then suddenly he was going on the 18th again and um and he could have absolutely covered my shift in the barn the dinner shift so that I could have taken him to the vet um but again uh Jorge told me told me himself with his own words his own mouth he hates cats I didn't think he hated them that much but um he absolutely was there until the 18th he could have covered the dinner shift in the barn so that I could have taken my cat to the vet. So, uh, yeah. We are, um, we're a bit stranded right now. Uh, I have my slide out partially out and, uh, there was a problem getting the generator going even though I had over a quarter tank of gas and then I even went um got gas to my tank and filled up to half the tank of gas with my with my little uh, my gas my gasoline carrier tank because luckily there's a gas station not far away and um and still wouldn't get up and go it was start trying to but it wasn't quite getting there I spent the day just trying to adjust everything, figure out what the issue is. It's looking like it might be the battery. My battery might be shot. I'm trying to charge it up now. I really don't know how I'm going to get a new battery. If I need a new battery, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, so um, he's just been... He's been way more sedentary and just depressed. This is the most active I've seen him recently playing with the kittens. And he just like kind of got up for a few minutes and played with her to kind of get her out of the way so he could lay down there. Because he was up here. And he wanted to just get down there but she was sort of in the way so we kind of played with her and got her out of the way but you're a good boy buddy pink that's pink that's Floyd I call him Pudge too Pudge boy come here
the other day I thought there was something really wrong with him because I he was sleeping up on the bed while the bed was all the way pulled out. See my slide out's like halfway out. And I can't get it back in unless I can get the generator going. <laughs> Even with the engine going, it won't come. You can't work the slide out if it's just the engine going. If the engine's going at all, you have to turn the engine off. You have to get the generator going and turn the engine off. Because if the engine's on, the slide out won't go out. So, or, and it won't come back in either. Um, and you can't really be driving around with your slide out half out. So, uh, a bit trapped here till I can figure this out and get my slide out in. And um, he was sleeping up there the other day when it was all the way slid out and I needed to bring it in. So I, I wanted him to move. I was warning him he can actually stay on there and it'll, it won't bother him. He's done that a few times. But I went to wake him up and he was taking a bit to wake up. It was worrying me. Like, for, for the minute I thought he went for dad. And he's only two years old. Like, something's not right. He's not right. He's, he's, he's like drained and I think depressed and he's definitely sick. He's got something wrong with his eye. I don't know. I'm just documenting. Um, this is the kind of fallout. This is the kind of awful shit that, you know, good people, regular, regular people, uh, have to deal with. This is when disgusting um, millionaires, billionaires who only think about their money uh, decide to take advantage of people and decide that they're not going to give a shit about um, the wreckage and they're just going to blame everybody else instead of, um, yeah, well, maybe I did contribute to this one with things like... Um, uh, offering a long-term position when I only wanted the person for three months, uh, offering to train her um, and then not train her, um, also not like allowing everyone else to have uh, to have access to other jobs on the island within the ranch, like at the motel um, or in the main office. But I was told by Jeremy Edwards that I was not allowed to work any place else in the ranch. I could only work in the barn. Um, yeah, uh, messing with our paychecks and, you know, not making it convenient to, for us to get our paychecks when you, you, we know that you can, when you've, you've already shown us that you can conveniently send us the money. It's not really an issue for you. You're just being assholes. Um, yeah, just... No, no, none of it. You didn't contribute to any of the shit at all, David. No, nope. no, you're hovering above it. You're hovering above all of us, David. Yup. Mm-hmm. That's sarcasm in case you didn't know. Just in case you, you're you stuck in your um, your literal face still, the four-year-old literal face. Um, I was just being sarcastic right there when I said that. You are the lowest of the low. Like, you are shitty, David. Same thing. Oh, my God. Ugh. Absolutely, like the fact that my cat is suffering too, because he's a piece of trash. Like, <sighs> all right, bye.